In this series of videos, we've been looking at the scanner class, how to import it, how to construct an object of the scanner class, and then how to use some of its methods. In the last video, we looked at the nextint and next double methods, which allowed the user to enter in numeric information from the keyboard. Now we're going to look at next and next line, which allows the user to input string information from the keyboard into the program. We've taken the code from the previous program, and we're going to use it for inputting strings instead of integers and doubles. You can see that I imported the scanner class at the top, I created a scanner object called from key, and I have prompted the user to please input an integer. So instead of integer, we want the user to enter in a sentence. After we've prompted the user to enter a sentence, instead of double num here, we are going to call this a string, and instead of num, we're going to use the variable sentence as it makes more sense. And we still use the same scanner object. You can change this to whatever you want. Just make sure these two are the same. And instead of next double, we're going to use the method next line. And instead of the number you entered, we're going to say the sentence you entered is. And instead of num, we're going to change it to sentence. Let's go ahead and compile it. Make sure there aren't any errors. Then we're going to run it. Say the quick brown fox. And it says the quick brown fox. Now, there are two methods that I wanted to show you next line and simply next. And let's see if we can see the difference between the two methods. So I'm going to delete the next line right here. And we're going to run the same program again. And you notice it only says the. So next in and next line both take in strings, but they do do something different. So instead of sentence right here, I'm going to change it to word. And I'm going to copy that line a few times. And I'm also going to create a few of these up here, four of these. And instead of sentence, I'm going to say word one, and I'm going to change it to three, and four. And we're going to change this to one, two, three, and four. So now when we run the program, you must put in four words, otherwise the program will not work. But I'll enter in the same sentence, the quick brown box. And we get the word the quick and brown. And so by now you could probably guess the difference between next and next line. Next line takes in the entire sentence or the entire thing that you put in on the line. Next simply takes in one word at a time, which is useful for breaking down sentences. One last thing that I want to show you with using string input is what if I just want one letter? So I'm going to delete this information up here and this information up here. And if I just want the first letter from word, what I can do is I can isolate it by using a method of the string class called char at. So I say string word one equals from key dot next. So that's taking in the first word, but I don't want the whole first word, I just want the letter. So I'm going to say char letter equals word one, which is the string object, dot char at zero. And what that's going to do is going to give me the first letter of the word that I enter. And down here, I don't want to print out the word, I want to print out the letter. I'm going to change this, the word you entered, and I'm going to say the first letter you entered is. So let's go ahead and run the program. And it says enter a sentence, so I'm going to enter a word, and let's say yes, and you entered in a Y. So that isolates the first letter. There is no next char inside of the scanner class. But you can use this technique down here to isolate the first letter if you just want to use a letter with the scanner class. So the two methods that we've looked at are next line and next. Both of them take in strings. One takes in the entire string that you type in. The other one just takes in one string at a time. And finally, if you want to isolate just the first letter of the string, you can use the method char at of the string class and isolate that first letter and use it in your program.